for any issue, be it health, wealth, relationship, any issue that you want to deal in life, there are two parts that requires healing. Part one we call as the inner influence and part two we call as the outside influence. Inside influence, we already explained, which corresponds to the genetic programming we carry from our ancestral experiences. Uh, we have discussed this topic uh, in our first talk, which is the genetic reset of money in detail. So if you have missed out, do watch the replay because it will explain you the inner influences. Today, we are talking about uh, the other part, which is the outside influences and we call it as our karmic experiences. It pertains to our own karma, not only from this life, but from other lifetimes also. So uh, today's topic is... Karmic karma reset of money. Yeah, karmic reset of money. So karma, karma originates from a Sanskrit word, which means action or deeds. And as Nilu also rightly said, karma refers to the law of cause and effect. Karma emphasizes that every action, whether it is physical, verbal, mental, it creates an energetic reaction that actually influences our future. So we all know what karma is, right? I mean, from a very young age, we are actually already uh, uh, following these principles. Our parents teach us, our grandparents teach us. When we go to school, we learn it. Our peers teach us. And we all know that our actions, our behaviors, our conduct, whatever do we do and say and be shapes our future. And so this is why from childhood, and we've not realized actually why we are taught, like we are taught to do good deeds, uh, to help us to negate our past life uh, karma. And we do, you know, the good deeds, which is donations and charity works, which helps again to negate uh, past life negative karma and uh, to be generous, not only in our money, but in our... Uh, work in our you know thoughts in our assisting people uh, and that uh, helps to create for us a uh, good karma we thought like respect elders you know bow down uh, wish people all of that is respecting our elders whatever they may be however you might look at them uh, that helps to generate good karma for us not harm other people generates good karma for us um, don't take what belongs to others also helps to generate good karma. Don't steal from others. Uh, also, you know, generates good karma. On the opposite, of course, stealing from others creates our negative karma. So you can see from the time we are born, we are subconsciously programmed to either create good karma or to negate our past life karma, whichever we can call it bad or whatever. And also, you know, religions also inculcate this in it, in our well-being, for our well-being. So I'm Catholic and we have our Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments, it is surprisingly all about creating and generating good karma, which is like honor oh, no, your uh, father and mother. You should not kill. You should not steal. You should not, you know, look after, look at your uh, uh, neighbor's things or steal them. So basically, if you see in our life, we are constantly involved with two processes. One is creating good karma, like as Brenda gave so many examples, by making good choices that benefit us, that contribute to our future, and gives positive outcomes for everybody. And that is how during the course of our life, we are invariably kind, generous, respectful, helpful, etc. But the other process that we also do is neutralizing your bad karma. Uh, our hardships karma is to negate bad karmas. One is you burn it out by going through the hardships and the experiences, but that involves suffering. However, there is another way of dealing with it, and that is where the BNC miracle method plays an important role. 80% of your challenges or hardships come from your past lives. And remember, it's not just one past life, it's many past lives. So we can clear our negative karma using our method. BNC miracle method is developed by both Prinda and Charu. And uh, we got it internationally copyrighted in our name. In our method, we use a tool which is uh, where we have a tool where we have designed a pendulum, a specific pendulum and a set of specially crafted design charts. 
and by you using these tools chart and uh, pendulum we are asking only three questions and we, by asking these three questions we are able to find the timelines of exactly when the negative karma was created and uh, not only find it we are able to clear or delete that karma from the point of its origin and the results are almost instant <laughs>